I'm out here at the hangar this afternoon. Um, I've done a previous video on alternators, and I am a guy that uses the uh, auto, an automotive alternator on my RV behind me here, and I, I do it for uh, a couple of reasons. One is super low price compared to a certified alternator, and also availability. Now I've been through three or I'm actually on the third one, um, alternators, since I've been using the much less expensive automotive alternators. So everything else being equal, the only difference has to be the environment. So I'm thinking that the heat is an issue. The aft end of the alternator has the uh, diodes in it and also the voltage regulator. So I'm thinking that this heat is affecting the alternator. What I've done to rectify that problem and see if I get better longevity more than, uh, you know, about two years out of these automotive alternators is I put a, a, another blast tube towards the back of the alternator. And today I am going to install this little shield. Let me get it up there close enough so you can see it. This is a little shield that goes over the exhaust. It's got a stainless steel piece right here. And this is just aluminum. Uh, but I'm gonna put this over the exhaust and see if that prevents a little heat from getting onto the uh, alternator, increasing the longevity. However, you see how short that is? I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put the longest piece on there that I can. So I've got to pull the cowling off to make the time is 334. So let's see how long it takes me to get the cowling off. And there we have it, off. Let's see how long it took. 3.43, nine minutes. So, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. You can, like I said, you can see this right here, spot there for a hose clamp to go through like that. That's holding the EGT probe in. But I'm gonna mount this, but I'm gonna make this longer. It's gonna go to from about here over to about here and hopefully that will shield some heat from the back of this alternator when i put this alternator on a couple of months ago i added this blast tube right here comes down and empties out right here at the back of the alternator so that's got to help some if i can shield some more of the heat away from that and i might even add another blast tube on this side so we'll see anyway that's what i'm working on so let's get to it as you can see i got the heads drilled off the rivets Let's see if I can get that to pop off. And then there, see, I got this uh, new one cut to size. I only have to get this metal piece riveted on here and we'll be good to go. All right. Let's get a hose clamp in there and see how this works. There's the hose clamp and the little slot. All right, I got it in there. Hopefully that will keep the temperature you know, a thousand degrees or so right in here away from this electronic stuff in the alternator, the diodes and the uh, voltage regulator. I think that's gonna be okay. I'm still closer here than I'd like to be. And I might take that other short piece and mount it right here. Okay. You know, uh, uh, this here's what I just finished putting on. 
And as you can remember from the beginning of the video, I took the clamp on the inside of this one off, mounted it to this longer piece, and then I decided to mount this thing here, so I had to make another clamp, put it here. So I made a little extra work for myself, but that's okay. As you can see, I think that's going to help uh, create a little heat barrier between the aft end of this uh, alternator and this exhaust pipe right here. You know, I got about 1,350 degrees at this EGT probe right here. And just, uh, you know, another seven or eight inches down, it's got to be still 1,000 degrees or so. Fortunately, the airflow coming in from the top as it goes through the cylinders, this is the high pressure area. And this is the low pressure area. It comes down, so the, the general airflow should be down and aft away from this. But uh, anyway, I'm happy with the way that come out. Uh, got this blast tube here. I actually put another one in because I took the longer one that was here and came up here and moved it to the back. I had to make a little piece of an attachment to come off of this baffling right here. But I got it blowing right on the back of there and with the other one blowing at the bottom, I've got air moving all the way across the back of the alternator. Now I know I'm going to catch some flack for putting zip ties right here. Uh, and it's this is the hottest part of the engine, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. But um, if this seems to be doing the job, when I do my next annual in a few months, I might, uh, I'm might i going to probably come up with something a little more professional and permanent than that. But right now, that'll uh, get some air flowing uh, from two places on the back. And I got it. Right up there, this is for the stator and the rotor, right up in this area, these two. So hopefully that'll help keep that thing cool. All right, let's get this uh, canopy put back on. And once again, I'm gonna time myself. It takes a little longer to get it on than the nine minutes it does to get it off. It's 11.01. Uh, so let's see how long this takes. It's back on. Let's see how much time that took. 11.16, I started at 11.01, so 15 minutes. Not too shabby. Okay, that wraps this up as far as getting a little heat barrier between the alternator and the muffler, and time will tell. Hopefully I'll get more than about two years out of one of these uh, automotive alternators. I hope so. So uh, if you like the video, give it a like, and appreciate you subscribing and we'll see you next time.